Y'all catching this? Phoenix Valley. Around 1100, they mysteriously disappeared, leaving behind the Casa Grande ruins, numerous burial grounds, and other archaeological sites. Since the settling of the West, the area has been prone to suicide, satanic rituals, crime, murder, and death. In approximately 1100, the Hohokam Indians settled in this land. And uh, Casa Grande, the ruins here are actually home to the first national archeological site. And uh, the Casa Grande domes, which came around in the late 1900s, uh, this area is known for satanic rituals and all kinds of dark, mysterious activity. And so we came out here to find out if this is truly paranormal or if this is a hoax. As the daylight faded, we had no idea how this remarkable historic site would reveal some of its mystery. Everybody, so uh, the sun is set out here. We're uh, getting ready to go ahead and start our investigation. Got all our equipment set up. Got our social media director out here. She's uh, putting together stuff for us for our Twitter, as well as our Facebook page. Uh, look forward to that soon. So let's get started, guys. who's been murdered out here. Exception. An exception. 
Can you come talk into our um, echo box? Are you the only non-Indian buried here? America. It's kind of a very specific term. <laughs> yeah. That was you. Are you from Mexico? No, really close to the border. Did you work here? Are you a worker? Workplace task. So did you help build this road? For the were you the only non-Indian out here and you died working? Were you a miner? Getting no response from our ghost box, we began our first investigation into the black mist not knowing what we're about to witness. You don't even have to get down. So is, uh, is there anybody out here with us right now? I'm gonna place the CMF detector on the ground. I'd love for you to go, uh, come over and talk to us. Mysterious lights, we're good down here. This here got some radio interference here with our EMF detectors. We gotta be real careful. So we stopped. 
kind of find it interesting that we stopped and uh, a voice reporter said halt. So if you want to talk to us, come, uh, come talk to us. After experiencing the light anomaly and receiving what seemed to be intelligent response to our ovulus, we decided to move down the road to further validate what had occurred. You feel that, man? God, it's a real dark feeling over here. Huh, that sign! Holy smokes! What are the chances, y'all? It just says dead. Doesn't even say dead end, it's covered up. Check that out. What are the chances of that right there? Holy smokes. Why does I was talking about a really heavy feeling? We investigated the end of the road for a little while longer, then headed back to our nerve center. What we would discover next would authenticate the stories of the black mist. So yeah, you said on the ready cam there was what now? Uh, like around 9.28, 9.30. What the fuck? Uh, so around 9.28, 9.30. What in the world is going on? There were some weird, large shadows across that tree back there. Yeah. Like, obviously not bugs. That's the crazy. as tall as the tree going back and forth. Wow. All right, guys. So, this ready camp right here, it's off in the distance running a uh, UV with a flood. Uh, she observed some black shadows, so we're going to check that out on our footage later. incredible what was up with the cameras with the radios right there that We're was weird together that was yeah. no because that's a closed channel after reviewing the footage on our ready cam what we see next we could neither reproduce nor debunk and the bugs and dust did not create shadows In the same location that Kim witnessed a large black shadow, we capture a black mass move across our ready camp. Within a matter of seconds, that black mass passing by, our signal goes dead. Besides, you want to come out and play. We're going to be here all night. We'll be here all night. You throw a rock at me, I'll leave right now. I will leave right now. I just got that feeling like everything just got... It got quiet. It did? So guys, in case you don't know, I can't hear very good. I wear hearing aids bilaterally. <laughs> so I can't always hear if it's quiet or...
just feel like we're not alone out here. It's so subtle. Whoa. Hey, stop. shadow around here. I don't know if it was the light reflecting. Is there somebody here with us right now? York, you can talk to my voice recorder. Feel that? Do you feel that? Oh. Y'all catching this? What's the chance as soon as I said you feel that? That was incredible. I feel like this just this wave of cold air just blew over me. And uh I got like tingling sensation all through my body. And uh, that was, wow. So it, in the 50s out here, 60s. Man, I just feel like so cold right now. I think I wanna put on a winter coat. Anybody out here? They want to say hello? Were you just walking the trail? This thing spiked to like nine. It jumped right up, all the way up. About five feet in front of you, there's this really dark shadow across the base of the road. I mean, you can still see the road, but it's like this dark shadow. Yeah, you're, you've got a flashlight in it now and I can see it, but like about a foot in front of the camera there, yeah, you're flashing your flashlight and it's like your flashlight just disappears. There's literally a black shadow. I got a fucking huge chill. Right into the road about five feet in front of you. We literally Whoa. can't see your flashlight. It's like the light is soaked up. Fuck. That is weird as shit. I just saw that too. My flashlight's going down and it's like stopping on the camera. When you just turn the flashlight to the right and then you're now to the left there. I see it to the left. You go to the right and I can see it. Left, right. But if you put it on the road, we can't see any light emitting from your flashlight at all.
flashlight out right now, right? Flashlight's on. Flashlight on. We can't see it. We can see it to the left and to the right. You put it, yeah, I see it now when you turn around and point it towards the, uh, towards the IR camera, we can see it. And as you're going down the side left and right, we can see it. As soon as you point it on the roadway, we, it's black. It's gone. Okay, that's weird. Now we can see it. We can literally see the road. All right, great, because I'm feeling a, feeling a big ass chill. There is a depression here. flashlight when you flash it towards the camera but when you don't have it towards us we can't see anything but move your camera to the side flashlight Flashlight's at eye level. Can't see it on the ground. Right where I'm standing? It's not, when you're not facing the camera, it's all black. Flashlight at all now. Flashlight off. Just using a black light. Chili? Yes. Flashlight on. I'm picking up a little white mist. I don't know if it's from where I walked. See a crescent of light underneath you.
walking in a tunnel. It's got to be from the uh, firing range, the you know, gunpowder. The range that's closed. Don't know. There was just a huge anomaly to the right of you. Towards the mountain. White mist that came up. There looks like there's a bush there. And it just like, it illuminated the whole thing. But it wasn't your flashlight. It was, it was really, really, really bizarre. Flashlight towards the mountain? Uh, I got a yellow mist almost. Turn your flashlight towards the mountain real quick. Can you slowly rotate it back towards the nerve center? With strange mist and unexplainable events happening throughout the night, the Casa Grande Mountains lived up to the reputation as mysterious.